Why must all deities visiting the realm of the living become mortal? There are many states of being in this world, and some have managed to become immortal and gain the ability to manipulate nature at will to a certain extent. People call them deities and they are very difficult to tell apart until they exercise their divine power in public. They will sometime drop by the land of the living for an excursion to experience suffering and even dying. With exception to being banished there due to punishment, I am wondering why every deity must abandon their immortality when entering the realm of the living. The gatekeepers, which are ethereal mythical creatures, will prey on anyone who dares violate the code and will proceed to devour the suspect with extreme prejudices. Procedure for a deity visiting the realm of the living. Step 1. Notify the higher-up to get the visa. Step 2. Visitor must seal their immortality into the passport. Call 1-800-DEITY immediately to replace lost, stolen passport. Step 3. Now proceed to realm of the living. Visitor must produce a valid passport during check by gatekeepers. Immortality is only one of the various things that are restricted by interplanar customs. Other things include non-standard geometries, vegetables that might carry divine pestilences, various higher-tier smiting tools and any form of prophecy deemed paradox-inducing. The reason for these restrictions is simply that these things conflict with mortal reality. The fabric of the universe requires straight lines to work a certain way, so some deities have to leave behind their thousand arms, or risk looking very silly. Temporal paradoxes give the various deities in the Department of Intertemporal Affairs WAAAY too much work, so they're prohibited. Immortality in its full-blown godly form conflicts with the laws of thermodynamics, and it's infinitely easier to strip immortality from a god than it is to fill out the endless paperwork that comes from altering a fundamental law of the mortal universe. All told, the paperwork is easier if deities aren't allowed to take anything universe-shatteringly weird into the mortal plane.